if you're not fat, don't say you're fat. Like, bro. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, trying something new. Okay. Trying something new. I feel like a lot of people gonna be real mad about my opinion, but this is my opinion. We all got them, okay? It's gonna be my unpopular opinions. I don't really know how unpopular my opinions actually are, but I'm just saying, okay? Come for me if you want to. But these are my opinions. I have a list of things I'm gonna talk about. If y'all can see my desk right now, it's like it's such a mess. But water, it's good for you. So along with my unpopular opinions, I'm going to be doing my makeup because I ain't got no makeup on right now. Um, the makeup I'm going to be doing is going to be drugstore because I asked my IG and everyone was like, drugstore, drugstore, drugstore. <laughs> so we're going to be doing a full makeup look with drugstore makeup. While I tell you my unpopular opinions. So we're going to beat this mug, beat this mug, and I'm going to tell you my unpopular opinions. So to start off, I'm going to be going in with my e.l.f. Illuminating primer. I don't really like using this one because of how yellow it is Well, I wasn't gonna talk about my hair, but since I just got primer in my hair this hair is from my Lisa hair company They're not sponsoring this but if any hair companies would like to sponsor a video she period i think i also use too much <laughs> i'm gonna be honest i only don't like this because it leaves a yellow on the skin like you you guys see that you guys might not be able to see it because of the camera but it leaves like <laughs> it literally illuminates the skin and i don't really care for that i'm trying to get it off my fingers so like i said this is going to be an unpopular opinions video my first unpopular opinion is this Notre Dame situation. Now, I love my good Lord and Savior. I love him. I love him. But the fact that the United States of America has donated X amount of money to help Notre Dame rebuild when there's people, citizens, on our own land that don't have water, clean water to drink, a basic necessity to life, I have a problem with that. Like, I have a problem. So like I was saying, this is my next total drop control in the last shape, deep espresso. So the fact that there's legit places, anything I can find at Walmart, it's just for and this is a Sonia Cash expunge from Target. So, like, there's a whole there's a whole city on our own land that doesn't have clean water, and we're not putting all of our efforts to give them clean water, but we can donate to France to help them rebuild this cathedral and i understand the importance of the cathedral but i'm just like and that's why i'm not commenting on anybody else helping i'm commenting on the united states helping because like <sighs> bro you can't help others if you haven't helped yourself first like if things aren't good at home you shouldn't be trying to help others you know and things aren't good at home bro like that just baffles me that the United States was so quick to help Notre Dame, but wasn't quick to help Flint. Okay, whatever floats your boat. I'm also be real with y'all really quick. 
Majority of this will be NYX because that's a lot of what I have. I'm looking for this one concealer that I don't feel like talking too much about the Notre Dame situation because like it's hard for me to kind of talk about it because I feel like as a Christian I should be okay with everyone like rallying up to help but I feel like I, I feel like there's hidden intentions as to why Flint Michigan still doesn't have clean water and I don't like that you know I think we should have been quick to help our own and then we could have used all the resources that we had thereafter to help Flint um to help Notre Dame like I just don't see a point in a place on our land not having clean water. This is the um, Maybelline Insta Age Rewind in Mahogany in Hazelnut. I prefer, if you're new to my channel, what's up? Thanks for joining the family. What's up? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. But I prefer a very bright under eye highlight. I blend it out a whole bunch, so it's not as dramatic. So, I just feel like it's a little shady. You know, if you know what I mean, it's a little shit. My next thing is this thing that's been going on on Twitter. And if you have a Twitter, follow me. I'm gonna try and pull up the picture and put it right here. But it's these thin girls or these smaller girls saying that they have fupas. Or like commenting on a, like captioning their picture as Fiti my fupa. You don't have a fupa sis. And I just think that's like whack. Like why are you pointing out something that you don't have to get sympathy when there are girls that legit struggle with that insecurity of having a fupa. Like there are girls who have fupas and struggle every day to love themselves. And here you are trying to gain clout and get noticed off of something that people have insecurities over that you don't even have. Like I don't want to go as far as saying, oh my God, that's appropriating or anything. But in the back of my head, I can't help but be like, like, you don't have one. So why are you trying to act like you do? Big girls get a little bit of love and then people want to join on the bandwagon and hint that they have this, they have that when you don't. Like, you don't go through the problems that we go through every day as big people, like bigger people. And I'm not even the biggest person, but that shit, like, when I see that, that pisses me off. It makes me so upset because you don't have a fupa, you aren't constantly ridiculed for having a larger stomach, you don't have pants that don't go up specifically because your stomach is too big. Like, bro, chill out. The world will continue to love skinny girls no matter what. Like, even if the society is all about being thick, who do you see on the runway still? Skinny girls. Who do you see in the magazine still? Skinny girls. Like, legit? Fat, fat isn't in. <laughs> no matter how people try and say it, fat isn't in. It will never be in. It's like people try to say dark skin is in. It's not. Like, just a select few love dark skin, and it was a trend. It was a wave. Being fat is now the wave, okay? And people don't even want to be fat. They just want to be able to say, oh, I have a fupa too. I have saying like two. I'm, 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 I'm. Like, sit down, bro. You've been getting love probably all your life sit down bro like i was ridiculed as a kid for being bigger and people tried to like make slick jokes and try to include me and be like oh britney you're not big you're just muscular no nah, big. i'm big i know i understand it's cool i'm a big girl and i'm fine with that i'm becoming okay with that and every day i struggle with loving myself to the fullest and when i see girls who don't have fupas or don't really have like these big girl problems and they're trying to act as though they do i'm just like why why like what 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 possessed you to need to feel to have like to feel like you needed to do that i just want to understand like if you don't have a fupa don't say you have a fupa if you're not fat don't say you're fat like bro stop trying to gain clout of terms that you used to you you probably used to use to make fun of bigger girls like that don't make no fucking sense girls these days are so freaking weird bro and i just don't get it like i don't see guys trying to act like they big like skinny guys trying to act like they big like bro what the f <clears throat> this is me off like it just makes me so mad because i battle with my own insecurities every freaking day every day and i have to see these people on the internet and in my own life 
act like they're big when they're not. When people are still fawning over them, falling all over them to want to be with them and to love them and to show them love and to tell them that they're pretty. Like... <sighs> Like, bro, it pisses me off. It pisses me off. It just, oh my God, it pisses me off so much. And I try to keep quiet about it. Like, when I see skinny people say, oh my God, I'm so thin. Oh my God, I'm so this. Like, I usually try to keep quiet about it. But when I saw that FUPA mess, I was just like, you don't have a FUPA, sis. You don't. You probably just ate a little too much and you're low bloated. But it's not a FUPA. You don't have fat on your upper pussy area, okay? That shit ain't leaning over, creating a shadow over your fucking pussy. So therefore, you don't have a fupa. Like, when you sit down, there's, the shit isn't, you can still see your vagina probably. When I sit down and I look down, I can't see my vagina, okay? Cause my fupa is covering that shit. And I love my skinny girls. Like I love skinny girls, I love all women. And I want us all to be able to love ourselves, but I feel like you shouldn't try to point out something you don't have in order for other people to say, oh my God, you're so skeet. Like for other people to give you validation that you already knew, because I feel like that's what it is. It's like when someone says, I'm so ugly, but they know they're freaking drop dead gorgeous. Like you just want people to validate something that you already know. And I feel like that's whack. That's fucking whack, bro. And maybe my opinion is um, like hella unpopular in this case, but I feel like that's so fucking whack because there are girls that legit struggle, struggle, even boys like that legit struggle with their body image. And you know, you don't struggle with yours and you're doing this for clout like you're fake and you need help it's the same thing with like i feel like it's really popular nowadays to pretend like you have depression or you have anxiety or you have ocd or bipolar like you have all these disabilities when in reality you don't you're just upset over a little situation and in reality you're perfectly fine but because there are legit people who are depressed and there are legit people, this is also my air spawn, if you guys were wondering. There are legit people who are depressed, there are legit people who have anxiety, like, and I be seeing these posts and I'm just like, you don't have anxiety, bro. Like, you're just impatient. <laughs> Chill out, stop trying to gain clout over someone's real illness. What, what is wrong with people, bro? Like, everybody wants to be fake and not something somebody that they are. Just be who you are. And if nobody likes you as who you are, then fuck those people. Like, not everybody has to like you. And I feel like a lot of people need to come to that freaking reality. Not everybody's gonna like you. And I even struggle with that because I will post something on Instagram and if it doesn't get a certain amount of likes after a point, I will delete it and be like, well, nobody likes me, nobody likes my picture. But now I'm starting to get to the point where I'm just like, you know what, forget it. You don't like my picture, I like my picture. Cause I posted it for me. I posted it because I liked it. Everybody just want to be fake for some likes nowadays. I'm just like, y'all are all annoying. Y'all are all annoying. And I hope it comes back to bite everyone in the butt. Everyone in the butt. It's like back in the day when everybody used to want to be mixed. You ain't mixed. Or when everybody wanted to be light skin. You ain't light skin. Like. So I'm trying to be somebody that you ain't, bro. So I can either go in with my e.l.f. lock, what is this called? Lock on liner and brow cream, or I can go in with my usual, which is my NYX eyebrow gel in black. Let me see what this is looking like, because I haven't used this in a minute. Okay, I'm not using that. So this is a really good liner. I would call it even a dupe for my Anastasia. If you're looking for dupes for Anastasia, if you don't have the coin for Anastasia, this is like three bucks at Walmart. And I got this. They only have like two shades. This is the darkest shade. I'm trying to see if the color's on here. Oh, Espresso. This is the color Espresso. And then this is the color Granite. This is basically black. This is like a chocolatier color. This works for me when, as well as, I have it Ebony. Ebony and Espresso are basically dupes for each other. And these work for me when I'm not doing heavy makeup. I have my natural hair out because my natural hair isn't black or I'm just doing brows because when I just do brows and I do black 
eyebrows it just looks crazy it looks a hot mess i'll try and put up a picture if y'all want to see it these are good dupes if you're lighter than me or if you're into a lighter brow so yeah but today i'm gonna be going in with my next brow gel in black i love this brow gel like it sticks it walks i'm gonna come back with brows on because i can't talk while i do my brows so Okay, so I have to cheat just a little bit because I don't have a contour. That's my shade. So I have to use the Juvia's Place palette. Um, the shade Mina. Mina. I just haven't found one that I like drugstore wise. But this is at Ulta, so I feel like but it is on the pricier side, it is $20. It's all we, I'm looking for one like across my desk and I just don't have one that's dark enough, which is a constant problem. Anyways, as far as structure goes. And if you're interested in learn in knowing how I contour, cause I don't bronze, there's, I don't have a bronzer dark enough for me. Um, if you know any dark, dark bronzers, let me know. Cause I really want one. Um, I go in circles up and down across my cheek Ooh, my hair and then as I come closer to right here this area I say I make the circles larger so that it blows it out more and then I taper it smaller as I go up my next unpopular opinion is plastic surgery now I feel like if you got the money do it bro like, I don't see what's such a bad stigma about it. I feel like if you have the money to do it, do it. If you don't like something about yourself and you want to change it, change it. And if it makes you happy, do it. I feel like the only problem is when you do it for other people. Like, you have to do it for yourself. If it's not for you, then that's where I have the problem with it. But who am I or who is anyone to tell you don't get plastic surgery? Like... I got the money, therefore, I'm gonna do it. I personally have no plastic surgery because I'm a broke college student. But if I had the money, there are some things I'd change. Am I gonna talk about them on camera? No, because I do feel like one day I will start to love those things about me, and therefore, I shouldn't waste my money doing it. So, but I also don't have money to do it. <laughs> There's also that part, but yeah. I just feel like if you're gonna get plastic surgery, do it. If you wanna get it, do it. Like It's your life. Do whatever makes you happy. I believe do whatever makes you happy, but prepare, be prepared for the consequences of that. You know, grown decisions have grown up consequences. So if you're not prepared to handle the consequences that come with doing certain things, then you might wanna rethink doing it. My lips are so chapped. I don't know what I'm going through. That's me on that. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite one that i want to talk about <laughs> is writing dick <laughs> so if you're not at the age where you should be writing penis um i'd say just skip over this part because yeah i am proud to say that i can't ride dick to save my life it's hard and I feel like a lot of people don't talk about how hard it actually is. Like, riding dick is not easy. But people try to make you believe it is. And maybe it's because I'm a big girl that it's not easy, but riding dick ain't easy. I'm going in with my Makeup Revolution, no, <laughs> Makeup Revolution, Pro Fusion Cosmetics, Chestnut Eyes, eyeshadow makeup case it looks like this i have used this on my channel before i'm trying to get the colors in there um this is what it looks like i've used these on my channel before i'm going in with the color outlaw it's this maroony color i got it from walmart like i see it and it came with this little brush this brush sucks but it's cute that they thought about it because like it says like a beach like it's sitting right now but back to my point I don't know how to ride dick to save my life. It hurts so much. And when he's like, 
get on top. I'm like, mm, do I have to? Do I? Do you really? You really want that? Like, I will throw a fit about riding some dick, a, a whole fit over it. Like, I don't care. I don't ride dick. Like, if I ride your dick. It's because I like you because I don't ride dick. Not this big girl. I just feel like a lot of people don't talk about how hard it is to actually ride dick. Because, you know, if you're on Twitter, there was this whole thing about, like, doing these unpopular opinions. And they were doing, like, unpopular opinions about sex and, like, sex positions. But I never saw one about riding dick. And I feel like nobody talks about how hard riding dick is. And men always want to complain, like, oh, they never want to ride. Because it's hard. Okay? Like, it gets tiring. I'm not built for all that, okay? I'm built to lay there and assist, not get on top and do all the work. Now, if you wanna assist me while I'm on top, then okay, okay, we here. But if I gotta do all the work myself, no. But from what I've heard, it's easier when you like put your feet flat and then like you hop, but that hurt. <laughs> My thighs be, oh, they be crying. And I'm just like, nope, I'm good. I'm not doing this. And if he gets upset, well, you can, don't let the door hit you where the good Lord splits you. Because I don't care. It's hard for me to ride penis. I don't have that flexibility in my thigh, like that groin area, like, yeah, to be sitting on your penis like that. I don't know what's so hard for people to understand, but I, I'm i going in with the color Polite. It's this light, light, tanny color. It's the second to lightest color in the palette. And this is on my Morphe Y15 brush. This is not drugstore brush, but I didn't say I was doing drugstore makeup utensils. I just said I was doing drugstore makeup. Uh, do y'all find writing penis a little bit difficult? And I also feel like, here go. this is my NYX matte liquid liner. And I start on that. Like I said, I just feel like no one talks about how hard writing dick is. And I can't be the only one. Like, I legit cannot be the only one that thinks writing dick is hard. And if I am, then I guess I just need to step my game up. <laughs> well, there's no point in setting my game up because the bitch is celibate. I really hope my mom doesn't watch this. Because I don't think she knows that I've had sex before. So I'm not going to link this to my Facebook account. I hope she doesn't find this video. Like, let people do what makes them happy. That's really my biggest thing. Let people do what makes them happy. If the, putting on a bunch of makeup makes somebody happy, let them be happy, bro. They're not hurting anybody, let them be happy. Not hurting anybody if they're not hurting themselves. Let them live. I don't think anybody's gonna disagree with me, but college is freaking overrated. But you still need to go. <laughs> like, I college is expensive as crap. It makes me want to <laughs> kill myself sometimes. These are the Eyelore lashes, the Jasmine Brown ones, I believe. I don't know. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I don't really wear them. I got them from Walmart, so they are drugstore. And I always have on my shoes. <laughs> Makeup looking complete till I have on my shoes. And I use the Kiss Lash Adhesive for a moment. Um, college is overrated. Hecka overrated. If you're not in college yet, it's hella overrated. Um, and it's stressful. And being a first college, a first generation college student, like it feels like you're, you're out in the middle of nowhere on this journey by yourself because no one can really help you that you know and trust really because neither of my parents went to college and I don't have siblings that went to college I'm the first 
like out of my family my immediate family i am legit the first gen the first person to go to college and about to complete and technically i've already be like i've already graduated college because i got my aa while i was in high school but like being a first generation college student here at a bigger university is hard and i don't think a lot of people talk about that and i do want to do a video this is like got really serious <laughs> i do want to do a video talking about first generation being a first generation college student because i'm about to graduate in the fall 2019 god willing so i do want to talk about things that'll help first generation college students like myself to you know enter or continue on with the with the right step forward because i think that i messed up along the way because i didn't know how certain things worked but this is just me like my unpopular opinions i want everybody to realize these are my legit unpopular opinions i just feel like everyone should get the i'm going in with my milani strobe light i use this on my channel all the time so if you're new here get used to it because this is my baby i love this stuff i love this stuff and i'm using my real techniques multitask brush to give y'all that glow i'm going in with certain it's this glittery color i'm going in And before I go in and put my lippy on, I want to brush my hair out. I'm going in with the Hard Candy Plumping Serum in Lion Tamer. It's this like cinnamon, light cinnamony color, I think. That's what I say it is. Hope you guys enjoyed this video my name is Brittany aka Red Smiley don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel join the family join your girl we trying to get lit this year let me know what other videos you guys would definitely like to see I'm planning on changing up my content and doing more videos I do have some haul videos coming up because I know you guys are missing those so they're coming don't worry I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you guys enjoyed my unpopular opinions if you guys would like to see another video of my unpopular opinions let me know i'm not very controversial i usually go with the flow on things so i just want to try something new and give you guys some different content <laughs> but my name is Brittany, aka rich Smiley. add me on social media so that you can join the family and be my friend and connect with me i love you guys and stay beautiful <laughs>